welcome you to sunny South Florida. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams. Jay, you know it. It's special here in Miami with three decades of NBA basketball. Ed, the legendary owner, Mickey Arison, has put everything into this story franchise and will continue to do so. Three championships won here in Miami. And tonight, another big matchup on EA Sports. Minnesota begins the game with the basketball. Westbrook, pass stolen by Miami. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. People become so fixated on the hands or the arms or the strengths of the arms. I look at the legs, the strength of his legs help him power through that play. That's how you get and ones. the free throw Westbrook into the front court down two to Alonzo Trier Westbrook and takes it away now push it let's attack and transition so we can build this lead stops it down with authority it's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble we call that dancing when you allow a player to dance with that much space that's a prob city Oh, great pass, setting up the basket. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. Oh, yeah, it's me and you, me and you. Curling inside. Layup goes down. Well done. When the ball is in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Westbrook across the timeline. Down four. And a throw down. And when you get your prescription, you take your medicine and you call it a day. Got it. That's lunch pail business right there. Don't worry about the no call. Keep powering through. It's Russ at the controls. To Alonzo Trier. Take stock of the floor. Got a piece of it. Jumping out the gym right now, Ed. Great anticipation. Stuffs it down with authority. Jay, they've had no answer for this guy. He's been on fire this first quarter. That's the way you take it right to your opponent. You attack right out of the game. Westbrook. Knocked loose. Nothing's going to stop him in pursuit of the basketball. Carl Anthony Towns pins it. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. Count it. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. Now whistle, as Minnesota's going to take the timeout, as they'll go over some tactics now in this first quarter of play. Mixing things up. Hockey line substitutions. Both teams making changes. Screen, 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 screen. To Mikhail Bridges. It's the Heat with the possession. Has a look. Not that time. Your contest was great because of your proximity to the player. You forced his follow-through to be cut short, which made him short-arm the shot. To Mikhail Bridges. Mikhail Bridges with the strong finish. Jay, perhaps that's a start. Those kind of plays get me fired up. That's a momentum play. They look lifeless here in the first quarter. Leaves his man in the dust and finishes at the rim. That's a good run right here to end the first quarter to open up that lead. If you're the coach of this team, you have to like the effort your guys are giving. 
Rubio. To Mikael Bridges, going to launch beyond the arc. His first effort off the mark. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. They have set the tone in this one. I love when I see offenses come out in beast mode. You attack that paint, you get to the rim, inevitably the floor will open up for you to knock down some threes. To Mikael Bridges for three, off the mark, and a putback slam. Woo, that's nasty right there. And he finishes at the rim. Deep three at the buzzer. That'll do it for the first quarter. And the Heat right now are feeling good. you as we get things tough mate through traffic it can only be one of two things here one the defender ran out of gas or two this dude is just unstoppable Westbrook to Alonzo Trier. Great dish to set it up. He connects at all the time in the world. Too easy. You know what I like about this pass play? Instead of putting his head down and forcing the action, he patiently waited for the play to develop. Minnesota at the controls. It goes down. There's some players out there that like the freedom of space, and then we have the anomalies. We have the players who feel comfortable being uncomfortable, and almost the physicality. Stuffs it down with authority. He was ready right at the tip. What a first half he's having. He came out out of the gate, attacked, found ways to get to the rim. Now look how easy the game is coming to him. Westbrook. Screen coming. Nice pass to set things up. Slam dunk, Alonzo Trier. I don't think I could do that on a five-foot rim. I can, because that's my only choice. <laughs> Stuffs it down with authority. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. Knocks it down from mid-range. Oh, highlight moves. Tough to pull off with the defender all over you. Gets to the basket and scores. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. Screen coming. Able to convert inside. Old school equals high percentage. Stuffs it down with authority. That's what you come to expect. Your best players making baskets. No time left on this period as the Heat... Enjoy some breathing room. I'm Jalen Rose, and this is your EA Sports Halftime Report. The Heat came out aggressive and scored a lot of points. The way they play here today makes me think it's not going to stop in the upcoming half. I'm very impressed by their offense, and even better, their team chemistry. These are the guys getting buckets, the Miami Heat.
The Timberwolves were unable to find an offensive flow in the opening half. They've got the break to figure some things out. And trust me, they've got a few things to figure out. Still, it's not like they're totally out of this game. These are the guys getting buckets for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Game track. Steals. The Minnesota Timberwolves are trailing so far, and that's mostly due to sloppy ball handling. The ball security needs to improve if they want to stay competitive in this matchup. The problem started early, and it didn't improve in the opening quarter. Player of the half. The field speaks for itself. He's definitely the player of the half. Now he just got to give an encore to get his team to win. Who was cold? No one wants to be picked for this segment, but he couldn't avoid it. Maybe he'll turn things around in the second half. Here we go with the top three plays from the first half. Number two. Number one. Back to Ed and Jay to bring you the second half action. Good at the rim. Hey, one of the things I hear all the great teams say in the huddle, they say one, two, three, no mercy. Now it's time for you to go even harder on the defensive end. Westbrook to Towns. Oh, he had it. Short jumper won't go down. It's easy, force guys into low percentage shots. That's the reason why we're big into stats. It was all provided to you before the game was scouting before. To Butler. Jimmy Butler, small sample size, but making the most of it. He's one for two. We talk so much about who are the MVP candidates, but there are other guys who are so valuable to their teams, and Jimmy Butler at the forefront of that list. I have a phrase that I use when I describe players like Jimmy Butler. It's called most valuable mentality. There are certain players that approach the game with a certain mindset every single day that they will do anything, anything possible to win the ball game. He plays with his heart and soul every single possession and every night, and he will leave it on the court if that means he can win the ball game. Make the next, Gets a make look. The next. Can't hit. Let's be realistic. He's probably not going to miss a lot of shots, but the more effort you can give, you want to try to tire him out. Take his legs away. Make him work to catch the ball. That's how you win a defensive battle. Oh, Russell Westbrook. Not a busy night, but effective. Two for two. I know these mishaps happen defensively, but sometimes this can be the best thing for an offensive player who maybe hasn't found his rhythm yet. Don't let him get going. To Alonzo Trier. Missed it. Almost a foul. They let it go. Grabs his own miss and scores. Good concentration. We get a whistle and a timeout here for Miami as their coaching staff wants to talk things over here in this third quarter. New blood coming in for both sides. To Butler. Deep two there, won't go. The contest was good, but you being a nuisance was great. Continue to be that gnat that no matter how many times you swing at it, it never goes away. 
Here comes the screen. Westbrook. And buries it. Jay, they'll take that any day. From somebody who loved to score a lot himself, defensively, if you are guarding me in a parallel position, I can have whatever I want when I want. You have to force this guy to go one direction, make him go towards his weak hand, and then contest that shot. Jimmy Butler, consistent effort. He's at 50%. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. Minnesota with the basketball. And this will... It's no good to Alonzo Trier. Missed a wide open look. And he's fouled. Very close, Jay. Free throws coming up. <sighs> look, I get it. Being down sucks. But you can't just start haphazardly playing defense and committing silly fouls. Play this game with purpose. First free throw is good. Two for two on that trip. Russell Westbrook with the rock. Nice swat that time. You know, sometimes basketball can become a very beautiful thing to watch. During the regular season, things can get difficult. Energy can be low. The passion at times can even be lower because players are tired. They're fatigued. But today, it's all been good. They're putting in an absolute show with killer efficiency and tremendous effort and intensity. Westbrook with it. His guys down big. to Alonzo Trier. Here comes the screen. Three. Shot clock, it's coming down to four. Now down to three, and finishes strong. That's the intensity you need to see. Whenever a player running back on defense after a dunk like that holds the inside of his forearm, it lets you know how hard he dunked that basketball. That's toughness right there. Physical inside, gets it to go. Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here because that was not an easy look. To Alonzo Trier. Towns. Had a good look there, but it's no good. Nice finish at the rim. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. Alonzo Trier to Westbrook. Let's it fly from long range. Oh, he couldn't get it to go. The pass taken away. Russell Westbrook steps into it. Missed it. Not much more you can ask for for defense there. The Heat with the victory as they win this one handily. For Jay Williams and all our crew, I'm Ed Cohen saying so long for now. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. The Heat were merciless in this game. You ask me, and I'll tell you, it was the ball movement that made all the difference. There's something to be said for a team that can win as a group. And that's what happened here today. What you see here is how the majority of the...